Hey everybody, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, this is our last call for the Coach Basics. I know you're all just crying inside because you've had so much fun for this training. But the good news is um, July 6th will be the um, next training. It's our Emerald to Diamond group. That one's, I think, like a 30-day training. You can only get in that training if you're Emerald or above. Um, because it's kind of more high-level training. So um, I'll be posting about more of that in Team Arise and how you can um, apply to be in that because there are some requirements for that because that's a lot of work for us leaders to be putting into it. So for tonight, we are going to go over um, challenge groups and why you want to do challenge groups, how to do challenge groups, and how to invite for challenge groups. Um, I mean, when I first started, challenge groups scared the crap out of me because I was like, I, I was never a part of a challenge group where I was like, Jessica and Lisa, you've both been a part of them, kind of like that's how you got started. For me, I was just doing it on my own at first. So when Lisa said, oh, you got to start, you know, running your own challenge groups, I was like, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> So it took me a while to actually start my first group, and that's one of the mistakes that I made. I should have just bit the bullet and, and just started them because now, I mean, that's pretty much how I get a lot of my coaches, a lot of my customers, is by running challenge groups and inviting people to challenge groups. And, you know, it's nice to have something that you can – you know, have something special for people in a private group and they feel like they're a part of something that's bigger than just getting the program, you know, they're getting support with other people that are going through the same thing with them. So start your challenge group sooner than later. Um, and your first challenge group might suck. Mine totally sucked really bad. Um, I think half of the, my first challenge group was insanity. And most people already kind of had it at that point or when I was, you know, doing my challenge group. So I think I got like only one customer from it. It absolutely sucked. But as I went along and kept doing more and more, you know, I do about one or two a month right now, depending upon kind of how many challengers I have. Um, but that's like a big chunk of my business is just from the challenge groups. Um, Court, do you want to? Add anything before I kind of go into how to? Um, no, I, I think, am I off yet? Um, I agree with Rose. I think um, practice, I'm not going to say makes perfect because now I, I think Rose can say the same thing. Every group is different. It doesn't mean like we have it perfectly down and you have to adjust your group to um, your personnel in it. Um, and their needs and their goals, um, but doing it consistent, consistently. Um, people who aren't commenting and aren't liking, remember they're still watching you and knowing that they that you're going to do this once a month or however often um, and you're consistent with it, that they're eventually going to jump on the bandwagon or at least start asking you questions to go from there. Um, but I, I think you're going to get into in, inviting them to it, right? Yeah, um, I kind of skipped over what is a challenge group. I'm just assuming everybody knows what that is. But for you coaches that don't know what it is, it's when you take um, a group of people, the group can be two, you and somebody else, or you and two other people, or it can be a group of 10 people. Um, I usually find like a group around like hmm, eight to 10 works best. Um, but you get them doing the same program, whether it's the 21 Day Fix or Insanity Max 30. And just take them from prep week, so getting, you know, making sure that they open their package, they read it, they get their um, meal prepping done, they know what they're going to have to eat, they know when they're going to do their workouts, and then taking them from day one of the program all the way to the end. I personally love running 21-day fix groups just because 21 days, it's not, you know, insanity max 30 is like two months, um, so that's a long group. Whereas 21, you know, it's 21 days, people see amazing results in those 21 days. They change their eating habits too. Um, and then that's even faster for them to become coaches. So in 21 days, they see amazing results. They see what a challenge group is about. And then you can move them on to your to the next stage, which, which is hopefully becoming a coach. 
Um, and you can even do that with the with Insanity Max 30 of making it maybe just a 30 day group um, or even like the longer programs like Pio is kind of long. So you can even do that as like a 30 day group too, just to kind of keep it um, keep the days down. But in the group, you, you know, run quote unquote challenges. So um, you can do games of, you know, from Monday through Friday, um, you know, post your workout selfies, you get two points, post your Shakeology recipe, you get one point, you add up the point, just to kind of keep people motivated. So the whole point of the group is to keep everybody motivated, keep everybody on track, make sure they have a place where they can turn to if they had a bad day, they mess up, they had a bad weekend, um, just a place to hold people accountable for their actions, because that's what most people need, is to have that support system. So that's where the challenge groups come into place. So I'm gonna share my screen. <laughs> There's my post. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. So how do you start inviting people to a challenge group? My first thing that I do is I set up an event invite on Facebook. So I just go to the little event tab on the side. And I click create. And then you can name it, you know, something fun like Fit for the Fourth or Summer Slim Down or whatever cutesy name that you want to kind of put a spin on it. I would try and stay away from saying 21 Day Fix Challenge or Insane Max Challenge because that's right off the bat you're, at, you're trying to sell. Somebody sees that and they're like, oh, they're trying to sell me something. If you say like 21 Day Clean Eating Group, um, that sounds a little bit better. You know, you want to make it fun where people, you know, when they see that notification pop up, it kind of like, you know, it's like your, your two second interview. Are they going to pass it up or are they going to actually stop to read it? So you're going to name it. You're going to put in some details and I'll show you where you can get the details. You can pretty much just copy and paste what I do or what Courtney does. Um, where I always put at your home. Some people are like, what do you mean? It's at my house. I'm like, you do it in your, in your living room where you can put it in your living room. Um, and then when you want to at least have it for two weeks, that way you can start talking to people. Um, because it's, when you start talking to people about your challenge group, it's not going to just happen like that. People aren't going to be like, okay, let me go sign up. Here's my website done. No, it takes a couple days and it takes about a week, um, for the challenge packs to get in. So you have to kind of account for that. So, and then also account for like hol holidays. So right now, you know, we're kind of on that cusp of the 4th of July. So great time obviously would be that Monday, um, July 6th, right after, after 4th of July, everyone kind of probably pigged out and whatnot. And now they're ready to kind of jump on the band bandwagon. So, you know, have that date set properly. I'm gonna click cancel. So I'll show you one of my um, past So see, like, this one's not mine. This is Kelly's, a coach on our team. You know, if I saw that, I'd probably be like, uh, they're trying to sell me something just because it's autumn. Um, I personally like using pictures of myself because people see me because that's what I'm really selling. I'm not, yeah, technically I am selling Shakeology and 21 Day Fix, but I'm selling myself. People want to see me as the face of every of, of this. So what you can do is on, this is where um, the detail section kind of came into place. So you can literally just copy mine and then paste it, you know, make it a little bit of your own. Um, so it, it's, you know, I usually do it as like a story. So whether it's Memorial Day weekend or the 4th of July, or now we're like definitely right into bikini season. Um, something that's going to grab somebody's attention that they're going to want to Keep reading. Um, you know, you want to make that connection to people. So, you know, like I said, the bikini, bikini season, you know, looking, you know, feeling like you can wear even like spaghetti strap shirts, something like that where someone's going to be like, oh, that sounds exactly like me. So whatever, you know, you struggled with, I'm sure somebody else has struggled with that, that, that with that too. And then you can just, you know, what I did, it's just tell a little bit about the program because you do want to message these people and have that conversation of how much it costs and it's on sale for 
June. Like you don't want to put that stuff here. You want to have that conversation once you got to um, to know about their why and you know what their struggles are and all that fun stuff that we already kind of talked about. So I'll put this in the group if you don't already have it. That way you can you can use it yourself. And then each day, what I do is you can post in this event invite and then every day the people will get a notification so you know my last day I put my before and afters I put um, Shakeology recipes in there I put meals of the 21 day fix and this is just in the event invite I do a whole separate um, group for when I actually start the challenge group um, I do a little preview of the workout another recipe another Shakeology recipe the mother, um, this is my cousin's, I put her before and after pictures up. I gave people um, a little sneak peek at what they can be having, what the meals are, or what the um, foods are. I love this picture. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see, like, I just give people information to just want them to ask me a little bit more, or for them to click that when, or that, or it actually say going, and then maybe. So when somebody clicks, going or maybe or even if they just like one of the posts that you put in here that's when you start having a conversation with them and you know maybe some people might see this and they'll message you and the first thing that's going to come out of their mouth is how much is it and you're going to say well it all depends on what your what your needs are can you tell me why you're interested so you got to take a hold of the conversation you know don't get too i know it's really exciting when you're like your first person messages you and you're like oh my god and they ask you how much is it, and you're like, it's $140, but it's on sale for, um, you know, for the month of June, and it comes with 30 meals. Of no, you, you can't, you can't start the conversation out like that. So there is the conversation um, document that's in the file section of the group. So make sure that you have that out when you are talking to people, and just take your time when you talk to people. Really get to know their why, understand what their goals are. Find out why they need this and why this can fit into their life. Um, and then, you know, you can always message me like, oh, my God, I don't know what to say. Or can you help me out with this conversation? I think that that's where a lot of new coaches kind of get stuck at is having those conversations. And I know my first couple of conversations suck, too. I just sucked in the beginning. But I just became better because I kept doing this over and over. Um, so, you know, you want to have conversations with the people that um, click – going and maybe Courtney do you want to add anything before I continue um I think what's important is as Rose as Rose scrolled down and you could see the things that she's posting is they're all real things they're not those um beach body advertisements and that's what's intriguing the thing about the recipes is you're showing the containers and you're showing how much food on a plate that it turns out to be or you're showing a real person's transformation um you know, going back to last week's Zoom, anything that's real and authentic is what is going to sell more than you being a salesperson, if that makes sense. So go ahead, go on. Cool. No, you're totally right. Yeah, I hate those salesy, like, let me see if I can find one. Because I get invited to, like, other coaches on here. Mm -hmm. Like Danielle's. Hers is cute because she's cute and she has a picture of herself. <laughs> Who did this one? Denise Fontana. I don't, I don't know her, but I think, hey, she put a picture of herself. That's pretty cool. <laughs> You're not in screen share, just so you know. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, oh, I bet it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Or is Denise's? There. Mm -hmm. So it's something of her. There's um, Danielle's. It was for her boot camp for Insanity. That's another one that I did for Memorial Day. So I kind of like customize it. I use before and after pictures from coaches on our team. Um, you know, for Christmas time, you know, you can kind of, I did like a fit for Santa, something like that. So it, you can always make it, you know, fun and exciting and you want it to be something that people want to be a part of. So after you do the whole event invite, 
what you want to do next, like I said, is start messaging people and use the um, how to have a conversation in the group page. I have so many pages. Okay, so right there in the file section. How to have a conversation with a potential customer or coach. Well, you can also use, um, which is great, in the Coach Online office, if you go to News and Training, Training, Training Library. They have the Challenge Group Guides. So if you have not been in one of me or Courtney's challenge groups and Maybe you've never done 21 day fix, but you know, you have a lot of people that want to do it. They give, um, in the coach online office, there's complete guides from prep week all the way to the last day of every single thing you can post. I would say you don't want to follow that exactly because it's a little impersonal and people can kind of tell that you're just copying and pasting. You want to put your own, own style on it. Um, so if you're, if you've never been in a challenge group before, um, and just want to see what, one looks like, you know, obviously, ask me or Courtney, we'll put you in one of ours. And for your first one, you should definitely be running it or have your upline at least in it to make, you know, just to give you some guidance um, and to help you. And sometimes, you know, even pair up. So if a lot of people are running like uh, challenge groups on July 6th, we could totally pair up and, and do that all together. And that's why I think having the team unity and bond is great because instead of me doing all the work, it's kind of like we're kind of splitting up the work. So it's a lot more doable that way, especially when you have more than one challenge group going at the same time. Um, the one that I wanted to talk about was um, inviting. So uh, where is it? Customer five-step invitation process. It's pretty much like the um, document, the how to have a conversation one but it gives you a little bit more detail as well. Um, so I would all, you know, definitely look, look at this, this inviting and then um, looking at the challenge packs, the complete guide. And you can also find that one um, in here, which uh, you just go to sales and marketing, Beachbody Challenge, Beachbody Challenge Group Guides. And it has guides for everything. Even if you want to do like a little mini three-day refresh group, you can even do like, a, you know, it doesn't have to be a program, a challenge group that you're running. It could just be like a, a seven-day clean eating group with the three-day refresh. And you give extra like clean eating recipes for the rest of the, the five days. Um, and then every other program that's in here. So if you've never done Brazilian butt lift before, you can get all the, the information on that. So this is helpful. But I would definitely say you want to, am I sharing my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely want to be making the challenge groups your own, having your own flavor and, and style in it. So, you know, once you start talking to people, all that kind of fun, good stuff, you want to make your group. So I usually open up my group the week before my group to have prep week. So if we're going to have a group start on July 6th, I do it, I would guess like what, June 30th, June 29th. Um, so I would do it one week ahead of time. So I open up my group, simple thing to start a group, go to groups, go to create groups, click on it, name your group, add your members. I typically um, will just add like a coach that's in it with me first. I click secret and then I add all of my, um, my files. That way when I add, if I add all my people before ahead of time, they get all of these notifications, especially for like, um, like a fixed one. There's a lot of files I put in here. There's a lot. So um, I'll just put in like a coach. I'll then plug in all of um, the files, all the recipes. And the simple thing I do is I just save one of my old groups. I just copy, paste, and, and do it like that. And it takes me five minutes to set up the group and add the files in. Once all the files are in, then I'll add all my 
challengers in it. So you can see, um, I'll kind of just scroll on through. You know, you want to give, give people more than just what they, you know, more than just the 21 day fix. So giving them clean eating tips, um, giving them some motivation, especially after a weekend, everybody, I think the weekends are the hardest for people. Um, I love this one. Don't let the weekends ruin your progress. Cookie monster. Um, this group, you know, has actually been very quiet. I don't know if it's just kind of summertime, um, but you know, you'll, a lot of coaches, especially when you're new, they'll say, no one's posting, no one's posting. You know what? Sometimes you just don't, a lot of people sometimes just don't click in a challenge group, but then like I had one my two months or like a, a month ago. Let me see if I can find it. This, I think it was this one, fixed into Memorial Day. Yeah, these people were like crazy, like everybody was posting, like it was an awesome group. Um, and you can just see, you know, I did, did recipes and and some videos with Autumn in it, did a little um, just clean eating more, doing my selfies. Um, we also did like a little, I'll show you some of the challenges that we did too. And the challenges are just to kind of keep people motivated, especially you can use them if people aren't posting. So I'll probably just do that one in my group now because they're pretty, pretty quiet. Let me see if I can find the post for it. So this was like the little Memorial Week challenge that we had one, po one point for workout selfies, two points for Shakeology picks, two points meal pick four points Shakeology ingredient benefit. I really like that one because it shows why Shakeology is important and not that it's just, you know, coming from us, coming from our mouth, that it's great, but they're actually like Googling one of the ingredients and then posting the benefit. So then they can be like, oh, well, that's what that matcha tea does for me. So I think that one's really good too. So it kind of helps, helps pe keep people motivated and actually has them, you know, learn more stuff about Shakeology too. Um, so what can you give for as a reward for winning the challenge? You know, you can do anything as simple as hair ties. Um, I know Danielle Log, she goes to like Target and she goes into like the dollar section. <clears throat> and she'll just get like cute little things um, from people. Um, sometimes like I'll have extra workouts or like the sale that we have going on at Beach Body right now. Like get those workout programs and then you can give those away as prizes too. Um, you know, you can give out like a $10, $15 gift card to Wegmans or Whole Foods. You can do whatever you want. It's really completely up to you and your creativity. Court, do you have anything? Yeah. Um, just remember, you don't have to be doing the same exact program with people in order to run that challenge group. Um, it helps. And, and obviously, if you are doing it, you want them to know that, you know, by posting your own things and sharing with them that you're going through it too. But because of the guides, you can be running a, let's just say a P90X3 group if that's what you had a lot of interest in or that was on sale and, and you had a lot of customers going through it without doing the program yourself. Um, if you do link up with a coach and have your upline in there and it is getting like kind of quiet, they're also there to help like post things or start conversations or ask questions um, and help you out there. And just because people aren't posting doesn't mean they're not using the motivation that you're putting in there. So like, don't get frustrated um, just because, you know, they're not interacting with it. They might not be ready yet for that, but they're still in, like, they're getting all the input. Um, and that's really what's key. Um, Rose mentioned earlier, you know, like the 21 day fix is really easy one because it's a shorter time period, but don't be afraid to do like a month of anything. And it could be people from all different programs. Um, because at some point there's month one, the 21 day fix obviously being the shortest, but they can go an extra week to 28 days, you know, like that's even better um, for their results and whatever. But if you have a max 30 person and a 21 day fix and a T25, you don't have to run three different groups or find a home for them. You can put all these people together in your group. Um, that's why you don't want to name it the 21 day fix challenge group. Uh, you want to name it something that's a little bit broader. You're just 
It's a place to bring people to help with accountability, to give them support, motivation. And it's a safe place that because it's, um, you saw Rose click um, secret. It's not out there for other people to see if they comment, if they post pictures and you want to let them know that in the beginning that no one else can see it. No one, else, it, you know, in their news feed or anything like that. It's a secret group. Um, I think it was um, on a, a wake up call. Alyssa Shoemaker talked about a little bit how she does her month long challenge groups and she'll focus like each week on something else specifically, um, you know, at the beginning, especially the meal plan part. So like, let's say week one, she did all um, recipes and meal plans and Shakeology and the nutritional aspects. And then in week two, uh, or maybe week one was mindset. I forget which was which of, you know, gearing up and preparing yourself for participating in this group. Um, you know, week was with the workouts and the fitness aspect of it um, and throwing in theme days, you know, whatever it is, workout in neon or, you know, along with those challenges, you can do, you know, workout with a partner and it could be a, their kids. It could be their spouse or significant other. It could be a coworker um, or something like that, just to add more fun to the group. Um, and then in your group, you when you do start getting that participation, you want to keep an eye on who is being really active and who is being really engaging um, and stepping up as a leader. Um, those are people, obviously, that we want to join our team because they have that coach mentality of leading a group. And with when that happens and somebody posts a question or even if they um, tag you in it and asking you, like, what um, – what containers is a Luna bar or something like that? Don't answer right away. See if anyone else in the group can contribute and, and they start interacting with each other. So you're more of like a facilitator rather than leading everything um, in there. Um, you know, get out of your own comfort zone. Give them a welcome video rather than just describing it, you know, by typing. Put something out there. They see that you're doing it. Um, you know, they might be a little bit more inclined. They might be a little bit more willing to do it uh, also. Um, I, I know, like, people are a lot more creative than I am. Sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, I have all these ideas. And then sometimes I'm like, I have nothing. Like, nothing is coming to my mind. It's the end of school right now, and I'm like, I have nothing. But um, I, I am running a July 6th one, and, and it's called Bikinis and Barbecues, you know, and, like, you want to wear your bikini and you want to like freaking dive in at the barbecue. So you have to like manage the two of them. Um, you know, so if you guys come up with creative ones, maybe we can just like put, even put it on team arise. Like what's your next name for your challenge group, you know? And, and it's not stealing if you're using the same name as someone else. This business is duplication. So don't, you know, feel that you're stealing it. But um, we keep mentioning to compile these uh, testimonials and these before and after pictures from other coaches um, I know for me, if I put anything out there, if someone asks for it, that's fair game for anyone to use it and save it. I, I assume that's kind of how everyone is on the team. So just keep it in a file. And when you make these events, um, you can use different coaches and not just yourself, yourself. You're showing that, look, this helped, uh, um, I'm not a mom. This helped a mom of two who is working full time. You can, hit different um, clientele by using the coaches on your team. So that's, again, what the teamwork part of this is all about and using each other's success stories to, to help you. Um, I think that's all I wrote down. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that popped in my head when you were talking about if people aren't talking in the group, that doesn't mean, like you said, that they're not paying attention or, or that they're not participating in the workouts and, and mm -hmm. actually doing the program, but you definitely want to make sure that you're following up with those people, yes. regardless if they're talking in the group or not. You're not just here to sign people up and let them be free birds and good luck. No, you need to make sure that they like their Shakeologies, how they make, you know, how they're really making it. How was their first workout? You have to, you know, kind of be on top of them. That's what a, what a coach does. Don't think yeah. that you're bothering them. Really even if help them. Sorry. even if they posted at the beginning and then all of a sudden you see them falling off, say like, hey, I noticed you haven't posted in a few days, just want to check in on you. You know, um, I know you have that whatever their why is, tie it back to that. 
I know you have that vacation coming up. You know, I just want to help you stay on track with your goals. What can I do for you? And, and again, it's about you helping them. That's your job. And it's there. They might not be participating, but there might be something that you can help them with a little bit deeper. And that's what it, this business is about. And you can ask them like, how do you want me to help you? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to send you a text message every morning to make sure that you get up and do your workout? Do you want me to send you a message on Facebook? Do you want me to call it? You know, how do you, how do you want me to do this every other day? I'll, I'll, I'll check in with you. So ask them what they need from you. Um, the second thing, oh, I'm not sharing my screen again. <laughs> Is you can always look in um, Team Arise, and I think I might have went over this last time, but just there's like that search bar. So if you do, let's see, 21 Day Fix, let's see what pops up. Or you can just even go in the photo section and you might get some um, before and after pictures. Or you can just ask again, and I'm sure people will pop up their pictures. Hmm. I can't find any right now. Let me see if I go in photos. No, you can just ask, but I have some. I think, Courtney, you have yours mm -hmm. if you need any. Um, so I know we kind of like went through this a little bit fast and I kind of missed the whole inviting part with challenge groups. So, you know, you want to make your event invite, obviously, but you want to be asking people. So you want to, you know, Go back to your page and see um, see what people have liked your post. Send them a message saying, hey, I don't know if, and you can do this indirectly, which I think is really good too. You can say, hey, I don't know if you um, have seen my health and fitness post, but would you know anybody that would be interested in my um, 21 bikini and barbecue group? It's to help people, you know, get ready for the summertime. So you can say, do you know anybody? That way you're not like, hey, lady, I think like you couldn't, you know, lose a couple pounds. Like, you know, you don't want to do that. But you can even say to, you know, just so scroll and see like who liked your stuff, see who commented. Um, especially like when, when you first made your, um, your Beachbody like welcome post um, that your coach go back to that one and, and see who commented, see who liked, and ask them if they know anybody that would want to join your group. Um, another good thing is asking people for referrals. So if somebody did sign up um, and is going to join your group, ask them, hey, do you have any family or friends that would want to do this with you? It's, it's a lot of fun when you have somebody you know close with you doing this alongside of you. So, so that's another great way to get people out there. Um, Another way you can invite, obviously, is making a post about it on your page. Um, when I first started, I did that a lot in the beginning, but now I kind of don't um, need to as much, maybe here and there. Um, I think I was showing Jessica one before. Let's see if I can find it. But, you know, when you do an invite post on your page, don't make it beach body salesy. So this was one. So does that say like I'm about beach body? Well, there's a beach, but like I'm not posting anything about 21 Day Fix or Insanity Max 30. Let me see if I can find the other one that I did. Um, what you can also do is like people who have posted in your groups. You can, or like anybody that gets like, you know, I lost four pounds in five days and they text, texted that to you. You can say, hey, do you mind if I share this on my page? I won't like share your name or anything. And most people will be like, yeah. So that this is a great way that you can show people that you're, you're having success in your group, you know, that you're having fun, that people are actually getting re results right away. So that's a great way to be kind of, posting about for your next challenge group going forward. Anything you want to add for it? No, um, I just thought of like for the prizes and stuff, 
Um, if you have a really active group and, and somebody obviously is going to quote unquote win the prize, don't be afraid to send something little to the other people too or a card um, if they were really active and they were really engaging in it. Um, you know, if you go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they have like journals for like three ninety nine. You can get the um, individual packs of um, E and E. Um, just something to show that like you really appreciated their participation in it. Like, you know, what's the next step for you? Um, because people like that recognition and they feel like that sense of belonging to something, and um, you know, will be more willing to participate in something, you know, further. I love that picture. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so use pictures of yourself. You know, don't don't use those gross, ugly, not that they're gross and ugly beach body pictures, but you don't want to be saying, hey, I'm selling something, buy from me. All right, does anybody have any questions? We'll open it up. To you guys, Jess, Lisa, Aaron. Okay, I have one. Um, let me see. All right, so if you're gonna post like a, like a, okay, your picture that you just showed us that said, whatever it said, the one that you had with the beach, you know? Yeah. Okay, so one of those. How often are you posting one of those to start that group? Because I don't. I, wanna, I know I'm going to start another one next month. I mean, I'm going to start, I need to do another one in like two weeks for like the overflow from the first people that got it late, but I'm not going to post like a big deal thing about that. But how often would you post like one of those, like the picture that I was talking about? Um, I mean, in the beginning, since you're a new coach, I, I don't think it's bad posting like two, two a week. Um, and it doesn't have to be like fancy, like every like, you know, those posts every two weeks, like do a nice fancy one. And then, you know, you can then make a comment about it saying, a post comment saying, um, you know, my first group totally filled up and can't wait to set, start my second one. So that, you know, so you can kind of like continue. Right. So you so already say, right. So if I just posted, you know, about that one, which started just yesterday, then starting one the beginning, like July, whatever that is, the 8th or whatever that Monday is around there, that wouldn't be too like close to posting the other one, is it? Nope, not at all. And you have plenty of people, you know what I mean? Like you have a good flow of people coming in where like you can definitely fill okay. another challenge group for sure. Okay, good. I usually go to my calendar and figure out when I'm gonna start a group and I go back like, if I'm going to start on a Monday, I usually go back two weeks and I'll post, post that like fancy big announcement call to action one on the Sunday night. And then either like somehow three times a week. So what I tend to do is like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, um, and then do like a meal of it, you know, like a meal picture and be like, yeah, this is what I get to eat. People think I'm on this diet, something like that. A transformation picture, the same pictures like that Rose is putting in the event. Um, the thing you're just doing that and showing all the different aspects of being part of a group using a testimonial from someone in your group now as simple as like I love this group thanks for the motivation like yeah that's what we do here you know like something like that that you don't always have to put that um, fancy one out there but you like that would be for me at least that would be the first one and that's like my big on purpose invitation and then switch it up Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like, go to other coaches' posts and look in their photos and, you know, see how they kind of stagger their, their inviting. So I like what Courtney said. On Sundays, have your kind of big call to action post where it's kind of like you're totally making that invitation. And then the rest, I always make everything kind of like nighttime, I think, is big because most people are on at night. Um, you know, post the dinners, post about testimonials from your last group. Um, so post things that are going to entice people to want to join your group. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> I have a question. Um, do you invite your entire friend list or do you pick and choose who you're inviting for these? For the event? 
Yeah. When you actually make the event. I don't do my entire list. Uh, Rose, do you? No. Um, I wouldn't do a small amount of people. Right. But I pretty much do every female. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes if like I'm having a coach webinar and making an invite for that, I'll save some people for that because I don't want to send too many invites. So if I know, okay, this person I kind of want to save for the coach webinar, this person I think would be better fit for the um, challenge group. So I'll kind of separate the two like that. Um, but I, I wouldn't necessarily look at anybody and say, no, they won't join my group and I'm not going to add them. You'll be surprised, people that click, yes, I'm going, or maybe I'm going. Um, personally, I just don't do add guys because I don't know. I, I, I can't relate to them, and I, no offense, Aaron, <laughs> don't want, um, don't, not that I don't want to deal with them, but um, I like my, my women challenge groups, and I think it makes them feel safer, too. Sometimes if you do get a guy who's interested, like, you can find a group for him, um, you know, through the team, or, or, or we could help you find, like, a, a different group that's run by guys that's just... Um, like Rose said, I, I do agree that it's a little bit more safe, safe, comfortable, you know, people are more willing to share because they know that the women are going to be judge free because they're all going through the same thing. <laughs> Any other questions? Are you guys pretty much always running a challenge group of some kind with maybe like a little bit of break in between? Yes. <laughs> I, yes I, you're always running one? Yeah. I yeah, do. I'm always running one. Yeah. That's how I get my success club points every single month. And I, I try to do it where I am getting my success club points earlier on in the month. So I am doing kind of the invite a little bit. I would say kind of maybe at the towards the end of the month. That way the first week of the following month is when I'm rolling in those, those points. That way the rest of the month I can focus on my coaches and doing um, more, more of that kind of work. Okay. And do you close out a group when it's done or do you kind of leave it out there? I do both. Um, if a group is really strong, and people are still like checking in. Um, I'll leave it open for a little bit. Um, I mean, I, I don't leave it open for like a year. I'll go back and, and I'll, I'll at least leave it. Um, just, I, I don't want to be, you know, keep having it if we're not running it. Um, you can always have a separate page of just like, um, of challenge group graduates. And that can start to grow. Um, you can put your you challengers who have already finished a program and just kind of want some support and you post in that like once a day um, as if it was like an ongoing challenge group and that starts to grow. Um, but I, I keep it open for a little bit so they have access to the files and the recipes and stuff. And if I am going to close it, I, I make an announcement in there. I let them know. Yeah, I usually, I'll leave it open. Um, just so I can actually go back in it and steal some of my good posts or whatever. Um, and that way I can like copy and paste the file section too. But after a little bit, if I have too many groups going at once, um, I like to kind of just clean things out every now and then. Um, I'll just, you know, if it's from like last summer, it's, you know, I don't have a problem just deleting it. Medicine. Any other questions? How about like challenges? Hold on, am I still? Oh, I didn't realize I was not muted. Sorry. It's I'm okay. Like, oh. You need some medicine. <laughs> Dude, I have a headache too. It's oh crazy. man. Oh. Um, it's like a full moon or something. <laughs> yeah. What was I gonna say? All right. So the challenges, like within your challenge group. So besides, like you know, saying how you did, like the two, you know, two points for that. What other kind of challenges can you kind of do? Or is that basically it? Just do it differently. I like where people have posted saying, um, <coughs> I can find one for you. Give me one second. 
Like different things like, like the water, like the water challenge. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking, Court? Yeah, I mean, um, I think Ashley, uh, someone on our, our bigger team, she does, sometimes she does those theme weeks and they'll, you know, post pictures and just be like goofy. And then again, you have to feel out your group if it's a group that's open to, you know, those kind of things. Um, you know, like, okay, dro drop down and plank and like the most creative plank, you know, gets a little prize, whatever it is. Um, you could do, what was, the, I think that one was like stop, drop and chug. And like they post their pictures of, you know, them drinking the water um, and hydrating. Um, like we shared the recipes or like sharing not just your picture of your, you know, your meal, but like how you made it, whatever sharing. So you have like a recipe swap day or something like that. Um, writing on your timeline, you can put that if you, or you could say like share um, a testimonial on your coach's timeline and, and then that other people will see that. Um, yeah. Refer a friend, you know, we said before that, you know, refer a friend so you can get more people in the group, but you can also say if you refer a friend for the next group, you know, you, you can join it too and you get whatever X amount of points. Um, or you can even make just a post about that in your challenge group saying, have people been asking you, like, have you, have people been going up to you saying, what have you been doing? You know, you could be making money, you know, you can be doing what I'm doing and make income doing this. So right. usually I know I'm kind of going off um, topic, but towards the end of my groups is when I usually invite people to the coaching opportunity. So I kind of put that thought in their head. Obviously, if I see kind of like a, a coach um, in the making, I'll, I'll be talking to them the whole way anyways. Um, and then I always invite them to my, um, my webinar at the end of the group. So that's how I, I plan it too. So I do my challenge groups, and then usually when my challenge groups are gearing towards the last um, the week, their last week is when I have my webinar. That way I can invite them to it and then the rest of the team can come invite their um, people to it too. So yeah, I loved all of Courtney's ideas of you can even just do like every day something different, whether Mondays are Motivation Monday, so everybody has to post something mot motivational. Um, I don't know what for Tuesdays, but you know, you can come up with cute little things uh, mm -hmm. like that for each day. So what do you guys do? Like the the pretty little invite post. What is, I don't know what you called it before, Courtney. So what do you call that? Like the first one? Call to action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that how like how often do you guys both do them? Um, I'll do. I'll figure out my challenge group. So like I know that I'm doing one July six. So I did mine on Sunday, and then. You know, I'll post for like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday for two weeks leading up. Right. And then when will you do like another for your next challenge group? Like how far after that will you post like your next one? Usually my, then that challenge group will be like one week in or I'll, I'll take a look at my calendar and like, okay, here's my date for August. You know, it leads right up to Labor Day weekend. Um, you know, last, you know send off for summer or something like that. And then, and then I'll count backwards. So you kind of have to look ahead and then work. Oh, that's what I do. I look ahead and then I work my way back to like give myself those two weeks of like invite, 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 invite as much as I can and, and put it out there and consistently let people know that I'm running it. And then, you know, start compiling the group and then start. So then let's just say I run that one in August that leads up to Labor Day then you got to figure you're going to run one after Labor Day, you know? And so then you work your way back again. Does that make sense? Kind of. <laughs> so like I'll, I'll literally take out my calendar, like July 4th, weekend 4th of July. So I'm like, okay, July 6th is a Monday. Perfect. And I did this in May mm -hmm. and I'll look back and I say, okay, I have to start my post on this past Sunday, two weeks of that. I'll start my group. Right. I look ahead again and I'm going to say, okay, people want to be in shape for Labor Day weekend. They might go down the shore one last time. I'll count backwards. You know, those two weeks, I'll give my call to action, my invites, my event lit, yeah, um, invite. And then I'll be thinking, okay, and then I'm going to have a group after Labor Day weekend. 
I want to get back on. And, and that's just how I count it out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I usually do one or two call to actions a month on my personal page. If you have a like page, <laughs> you can probably do call to actions a little bit um, more, whether it is to join your challenge group, join your coach webinar, um, you know, join a, a seven day clean eating group. But when you're posting on your, you know, on your Facebook, you're, you're pretty much, you want to be posting with intent. So when you do have your everyday kind of post, you want to always kind of somehow, you know, tie it back into what you're trying to do, you know? Right. Um, okay. So, you know, do the pretty posts, you know, I would say two times, you know, a month maybe. I mean, go, go and I, I just like looking at what other coaches are doing. That way you can kind of see how they're doing it without, I, I know what you're saying because you don't want to be doing it too much where you're, being annoying and people are like, oh, God, just posting that again. Um, but there are ways, you know, where you can just change it up, say something different, different times. Um, and I know it just doesn't come to you like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. It's something that you just have to kind of look, watch, learn, study from other coaches doing it. Um, you know, I like to screenshot if I see something um, another coach posted and I just screenshot it on my phone. I screenshot it on my Mac. That way I, I always have something like, oh, I, I, need, I, need some, I need some ideas. I need some thoughts. And I kind of just look, look through that stuff. I hope that kind of helps. Perfect. And then I always just make those pictures um, on canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. It's completely free. Um, and I, I do that for a lot of my posts if I'm not doing it for my phone. Anybody else besides even, you know, challenge groups, anything um, for the group? Because I think we have like, what, two or three days left and that's it. Um, when are you guys planning to do your challenge groups? Lisa, you said July 6th. Um, well, I have one now that's going. So yeah, that's When's your next one. Next one. See, I got to work on that. Okay. Aaron? Um, Nikki and I were just talking about that. Um, so we're going to try to send out some stuff tonight, maybe plan it out two weeks. Okay, so that'll probably put you on July 6th. Yeah, I was thinking that July 6th might be a good start date. That way we'd have time to uh, get the word out and then have a week of prep. Just same. Yeah, July 6th. I have a question though. Yeah. Did you, I guess my biggest fear is that I'll send out this invitation and I'll do all this work and I'll get nobody that wants to join it. Has that happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> you do it again. If like, even if you have one person, that's where it pays off to like link up with somebody. Um, you like, you also, uh, I'll usually, I, I guess I only posted it in like my, um, my smaller teams page, but I can like put out, Rose can put out running a group this date. You know, if you're, if you have three or four people, try and run your own and start, you know, to get, to get the ball rolling for yourself. But if you only have one person, you're like, I don't, you know, I don't know what to do. This person isn't, isn't going to interact. You throw them in and you can kind of like test the waters in another group and team up with someone else that helps. Yeah, I mean, you guys must think I fail, like, every single day, but, um, yeah, like, my first challenge group, I think I had one person that actually bought something. My next one, I think completely nobody wanted to join. Um, then I actually stopped for a little bit, and I didn't invite any challenge groups, and guess what happened? My business didn't go anywhere. Um, then I, I started back up, and I was like, you know what? I got to do this every single month, and, and that's what I've been doing so far, um, and that's been going for a good two years. So you just kind of get into the groove of doing it um, and, and you'll start seeing um, seeing some movement. And a lot of times people that said maybe and then didn't join, they might need that extra month or two months or they might need a whole year. But you keep sending that invite and eventually they will say yes. 
And that's one of the, the things in the conversation. If they're like, no, I, I really can't afford this right now. You'd be like, no problem. I'll let you know when I'm running the next one. Maybe it'll be a better time. And you, you leave that window open and you keep them on that follow-up list to your group. So then you do reach back out to them. Like, don't just assume they're going to come back to you. Um, you know, you might have to go out to them and be like, just letting you know I'm running another one. Um, if you're ready to join, you know, I'd love to have you with us or something like that. And you can ask them like, hey, do, would you want me to um, let you know when my next challenge group is? That way you don't feel like you're bugging them. Mm -hmm. So you kind of ask for that permission. Is that it? I think so. All right, guys. Last three days and then um, your Emerald or above. We'll, I'll be posting how you can get into that group, um, and that's going to start on July 6th. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for joining. Right. Bye, guys. Good night, guys.